Cheers, Drew. Great. <laughs> Cheers to you, Brian. You're looking very fuzzy today. I'm feeling fuzzy, man. This is new. It hasn't been washed yet, so it's all nice and fuzzy. Ooh. My kids are like super into Not bad. fuzzy clothing right now. As and now Rachel. so are you. We have a blanket at home that feels just like this. So this is for your family. It, yeah, pretty much. There you go. Yeah. Here, kids. You're welcome. That's right. <laughs> Because I'm not inherently touchable. I have to bribe my children <laughs> to want to touch me. Anyway, <laughs> this is a weird start to right now this yes! morning. Uh, today we're talking about the Herbert Churchill Libby Sunrise. So this and is its an, predecessors. Indeed. So um, this is our third exclusive Herbert pen. Um, so Chet Herbert is a pen maker, independent pen maker, based out of Richmond, our you know, town of origin here. Yes, we are also based out of that area. Indeed. So all the things have like a heavy kind of Richmond theme to them. The Libby Sunrise definitely leaning hard into that as well. Sure. So we wanted to show you those and show some of the past ones that have been done just because uh, we think they're kind of neat. And here's so, the sunrise. It was launched about a couple of weeks ago. Ta-da. There we go. Look at that. You notice it comes with a matching Rich, Rick Shaw pen sleeve which has a little color pop of orange on the inside That's there. That's fantastic. Does he take a photograph of the pen? Yes. That's amazing. Which this one was surprisingly difficult to get a decent looking. Oh, I'm not surprised. Um, one. I think you had to go through three or four different No, I'm not surprised. Oh, it looks crazy. Yeah, because this material is uh, rather incredible. So this is, a, this is a material called a Lumalite. So it's a, a specific type of resin. It's different than your typical acrylic acetate. It's still cast and turned. Similar kind of process, but um, the resin component itself, it's more like an epoxy resin. Mm -hmm. um, extremely durable, very hard to polish, but once it polishes, it gets a great shine and it holds up really, really well over time. So the polish lasts longer? It does last longer. Ah, yeah, so I you're not going to get, yeah, you're not going to get as fine scratches and stuff like that. Very it's cool. very durable. It's uh, more um, impact resistant as well. Mm. So better for, you know, it's just a more durable kind of pen overall. So And it's going to be uh, pretty different depending on which one you buy. You're going to get a... Oh, extremely different. Yeah. Yeah, because each one of these materials, just look at the colors in here. So it's swirls of kind of brown, orange, blue. Uh, it's really going to pop in there. Lots and lots of pearlescence. Gorgeous looking pen. Um, you know, it's got the nice kind of seamless transition there on the body. So it does have a bit of a step right here in order to get that seamless look while it's closed. Um, pen does not post. That was a compromise that we made to get this kind of barrel shape. Um, but that's okay. It's a pretty big pen anyway. Right. Um, and it's up for debate as to how, you know, critical posting is for most people. Well, so actually, we go with it. I think our last one did post, but it's so back weighted or not back weighted but so long so you long don't, you don't yeah. really need to i think that he makes his pens a good enough length that they can be used by a wide variety of exactly. hand types uh number six yovo steel nibs so these are german made nibs extra fine fine medium broad in 1.1 though i'll admit that we don't have all nibs in stock at all times because we're kind of like getting a few pens at a time from him because he's a very very small operation so we made up a large batch of them for us at launch and then like certain nib sizes sell out and we mm -hmm. get replenished and so on. So if you don't see every nib size available at all times, that's why. But stay tuned. Mm -hmm. And he's got the signature Herbert Fleur de Lis on the nib. That is that's his right. logo. He hails from the Louisiana region and yeah. that's also kind of influenced here and there. And he's got some engraving on here. It just says Herbert Pen Company, Goulet Pen Company, and then um, zero, 00 is the pen I have out of 300. There we go. So uh, limited edition numbered pens. Standard international cartridge converter. And I'm gonna ink this thing up because we haven't been doing that as much lately and I'm gonna do it. And I just thought it was kind of cool to use an orange ink. Apache, Apache sunset, sunset, no less. To go with the sunrise. Sunrise and sunset, Why look at not? that. That's great, no, I totally do that. Sometimes I even have made purchases based on naming conventions. I'm sure that I'm not right. alone either. Absolutely. What I didn't do though was grab a paper towel or something for a tissue. So but Andy's got my back. You've been to Libby Hill, right, Brian? Remember? Uh, I have. And Libby Hill is a very popular place to go for photographs. People yes. get engagement photos done there. We actually got some of our family pictures. Just uh, me, wife, and the kid one time. Yeah. And yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful area. I've, I've never taken my kids there. So the reason Libby Hill uh, matters. Uh, it's in the Churchill district of Richmond, which the Churchill is the model of this pen. Uh, if you're familiar with Patrick Henry uh, in the Give Me Liberty or Give Me Death speech, mm -hmm. St. John's Church is where he gave that speech back in 1775, March 23rd to be exact. Wow. Um, yes, I did research. <laughs> um, and uh, I guess apparently from that hill, when you're overlooking the James River, uh, it looks a lot like 
a specific spot in London, in Richmond, London, overlooking the Thames, and that's mm -hmm. where um, that's where I guess Richmond, in Virginia here, got its name. So I guess the namesake was whoever the guy. I forget the guy's name. I wrote it down. I didn't remember everything, but um, <laughs> it was a bird, was, right? I will have to Is look. It William up. Bird. Maybe. But yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, that's how Richmond, basically the city got its name, was from overlooking from that point. So yeah. super, super Richmondy. And when you're up there, you do get to see the river kind of turning, and you get a really good... William Bird, look at you. Bird. There we go. Look at you I knowing facts. The, I looked at the notes. I oh, you did. Look at the notes. Okay, fair enough. Um, and then, no, I didn't know facts, trust me. But uh, <laughs> I did history. glance. I did glance. Yeah. But the spot is a really popular spot because not only do you see the river, but you do get a really great over, uh, overlook of the city with the, you know, the water towers and things like that. Mm -hmm. And it's not like the sunrise at Liberty Hill somehow looks like different colors, but it is a very popular spot to see the sunrise. Absolutely. And you do get a lot going on when you... Uh, and we thought like the brown of the earth with the orange of a sunrise with that, the blue of the water kind of kind of made sense. Right, no, if you look at pictures of, a, of sunrises, you definitely see a lot of these same colors. So it could be your sunrise, wherever you're located or wherever, yes. if you've ever seen an emotionally charged sunrise. I also like it because it looks a little planetary. I think it looks kind of like a gas giant. It does so, kind of look like that. So if that's it? your thing too, it doesn't have to be a sunrise if you don't want it to be. That's you know where we based the or in, and where Chet based the naming conventions off of. But it could be whatever you want it to be if it inspires you. Well, and we know we're taking a risk, leaning hard into like a very very local themed kind of thing. Uh, it's not going to resonate with everybody necessarily, but it is kind of cool. Yeah. The whole Patrick Henry thing. Um, it's not the first Patrick Henry theme pen we've done with Chet. Actually, the first one that we did. This was last year around this time. So this was the monument, uh, and we called it the um, Monument Liberty. Mm -hmm. So this was actually dyed, these ribbons were dyed with Liberty's Elysium, Noodler's Liberty's Elysium ink, which is a Patrick Henry themed ink. Um, and Chet made this material himself. So it's kind of cool. So we can show you all three pens next to each other here. Since we and the monument super. being a you know notable street in Richmond as well. Absolutely. So you've got kind of double reference there. Oh my gosh, can't hold all three of these. There we go. So all three very beautiful pens. We're obviously going for some kind of sensational colors, things that you wouldn't really see otherwise. You know, that's what motivates Chet. That's what motivates us. Uh, and it's very, very kind of cool collaboration that we are really happy to do. So there you go. I think that's about all I got to say about this thing. One thing I'll mention is that in looking at these patterns, you see that this one that Brian has right here, you'll see that the barrel swirl looks different than the cap swirl and mm -hmm. this is something that you're going to continue to see with Illumilite with this Belladonna and yeah. with the Libby as well so just keep that in mind we talked about its differences Chet and any uh, you know uh, pan manufacturer that is you know has a good eye to detail will try to match these things as best they can but it is tough yeah you will get some differences that's just, gonna happen with any pen with a swirl like this You'll, yeah. you might see it at the break here you might see it up here, if you have a center band that's separate, yeah. it's going to be another just, piece. Yeah, you've just kind of got like a more tight pattern here and a more loose pattern oh, I up think this there. one blends pretty well. Though. Yeah, that one, that one actually blends exceptionally well. But, yeah. you know, expect something unique. Indeed. There you go. So you can check these out. We'll have them available. It's, it's a limited run. Um, we sold, you know, maybe a third of them or so, so far. So I think that you have time, but not forever, to no. these pens. 195 is how much these pens are. That includes the rickshaw case. Um, there you go. So if you happen to be inspired by any of the things that we've mentioned here, or you just like a pretty pen, you can check this out. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you like these videos and you want more like them. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great Monday, and right on. Bye.